Hello and welcome, my name is Axel K, and today we're trying out some Rush Warrior. The deck is hard to play, but I had a lot of fun practicing it. The games can get pretty long with this deck, so I'm bringing you two super juicy games with some fun plays today. Rush Warrior is a hand buff deck that's all about surviving the early game while gaining some tempo. When we hit the mid game, you start buffing your hand with cards like Overlord Ruthak and Conditioning Rank 2. You want to mulligan 4, Imprisoned Gnarg, Crab Rider, and Rukara. If you get that 1, 2, 3, you're probably gonna win the game. You can also keep Athletic studies and war mall challenger if you want to play it safe there are a lot of combos and the deck has a lot of depth to it you want to get your playmaker down to copy your rush minions it synergizes very well with the tokens that you get from bumper car especially if you have them buffed or if you have a parade leader on board shield of honor on crab rider can end the game super quickly and a cool play that i haven't seen a lot but i like using myself is pairing a war mall challenger with rokara every time it hits a minion it's gonna get buffed but this is just scratching the surface of the deck so if you want to challenge yourself by playing a hard to play deck with a high skill cap this is the deck for you thank you all for watching the support has been insane lately and it really means a lot to me so if you want to get notified whenever i drop a new video remember to like the video subscribe to the channel but most importantly enjoy the games whoa trying out the rush warrior i wonder if uh, paladins are hard i think it depends on if he's aggressive or if he is um uh, libram I haven't seen a Libra Impeller in a long, long time. Hmm. Do we ever go for the bumper car here? So, we gotta think a little bit. We have a hard time dealing with his buffs. I think I wanna get something better. Athletic studies can kind of get us something, so I'm keeping it. Uh, but I wanna see, like, a Crab Rider, maybe a Rukara. This one, the Ganarg is good. And a challenger, I think it's pretty good as well. Okay, that's a bad start from him. And a good start for me, so... Things... <laughs> things are looking promising right now. But yeah, I really like the concept of uh, Rush Warrior, so it plays kind of like a hand buff warrior. You want to survive until the mid game, and then you just start buffing your hand, especially if you have, like, some tokens in there. Um... I mean, we could coin to check for our Oh My Yog. And if we succeed, then we get to play the Warm All Challenger, and then we corrupt the stage type. I feel like that's pretty good. Okay. And there we go. Now we have a big, beefy girl, I guess. Yep. And kind of the more different types of minions we have. The cheaper, the 10th Thresher is gonna be. I've seen a couple of um, of uh, Rush Warrior lists here and there, but this is the one that I really like. It's uh, No Hands Gamers list. It's really good, and he did a super good video that was called like uh, Rush Warrior Overexplained that you can use to learn a lot. But uh, still, even though it's like overexplained, it's uh, always um, it it's a little bit hard to follow when when such a good player is. Uh, is talking right okay so we can go the rukara yeah definitely i think i'm gonna use this might be some wasted damage but i think it's gonna be a get down it wasn't also i should have played oh i should have hit with rukara okay that's all right though i'm keeping her healthy now she can hit face it's super duper all right so it's gonna be an Avenge, I think. Wow. Playmaker here. I think we're gonna stage dive. No, we just play the 10th Thrasher, right? It's too good. Woof. Wish she buffed first. What? We have some really good tempo here, but I think he's drying a little dry though. And now I just want to find like bumper cars and everything to, to do the playmaker. It's a really fun card. Oh! Okay. Slow down. Wow, we can do a lot of things. Let's see what we get from the deck. That was the Oh My Yog. Okay. 
What did it turn? Um, thank you. <laughs> that was kind of good. Ho, 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 ho. Another Rukara. Is it... And survive, so it's gonna be with the Divine Shield as well. It's pretty good. Let's play the Rukara here. I wish I didn't have to sacrifice a minion. I don't if I attack with the Rukara, that might be correct, but no, I think I'm gonna keep her. This goes down. Huge. Then we sacrifice the little boy. And then we hit hard. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I like those double Rukaras. They're nice. I didn't think about the placement, but I don't think that will come back to, to bite me. And we are getting to like the, the mid game. If we hit the late game, then we can just uh, do the ringmaster. And we, uh, since we already have our 10th thrasher, then we can just... Um, we're gonna get a guaranteed Alexstrasza, which is good. If um, he goes low, like uh, if he goes to 8. But it's a while until we get there. And it's looking like we won. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of too smooth. Showing off the power level a little bit too much. I think that this deck is pretty hard to play, actually. It's... Uh, you kind of get baited into going, like, into playing too quickly. But I think I'm gonna keep the Shield of Honor with the Crab Rider. It's a quick play, but let's keep it, right? It's a Rogue, so I mean, he's probably gonna play the Octobot, right? And... So the question is... Do I do it again? Do I just coin the Crab Rider here? I think I wanna do it. Because if he plays the Octobot, I wanna hit, be able to hit it right away. So that's why I'm doing it. But we can play kind of slow because we have a conditioning. So if we get a lot of tokens on our hand, we can just throw out the conditioning on turn 5. And then we have like this huge, huge hand with three threes with Rush. I feel like that's where the power comes from. Okay. Hmm. I think it's unnecessary to go with the Ganarg here. If that's the secret that gives him a poison, right? Like it reacts to minions, I think. Okay, now it's, it's gonna be out there, right? This keep going. I don't know. We're going slow. Kind of, it, it's all right. So we just want to get to that mid game. You see, I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm like, huh, I need to hit face now. I need to make a big board. I think it's drying kind of dry as well, because that's a pretty early. Pretty early secret passage. Like, I think, unless you have like a prep, I don't think you go earlier than um, than four, right? Okay, Crab Rider. You played good. Um, conditioning comes down next turn, which is really nice. See? Okay, good. There's nothing we can do about that, so we just pass. Yeah, kind of a strong turn. I mean, we could... We're gonna conditioning everything, I think. And... Then we... Do a big Samora play afterwards. Because if that's another one of the ambushers, then Samora is gonna be able to clear everything. Which is good. Whew. I'm thinking a lot. I'm thinking into the future. But yeah, armoring up is totally fine as well. There it is. I think he's gonna be able to draw- Oh wait, he might have a bamboozle. That would be bad. I'm going conditioning and... 
dirty tricks. I think I'm just gonna wait and then I'll do the big Samoro Samoro play. How do you like my diamond card? I paid a lot of money to get it. Kind of shameful. <laughs> but it's cool though. I like it. Okay, I don't think he's gonna see it coming. The big clear. Ho I, I really, really hope that this is another one of the, the boys. Okay, we go somewhere over here. Come on, baby. Then we have a big X. Oh, good. We want you. Ah. I planned that out. Okay. And then we clear it with our face. This turned out really well. Uh, yeah, we just... Hit the button, get some armor. And now we are in the mid game, so now we can do... We can start scaling, we have Alexstrasza. Like, the cards in this deck are so cool. I really like the theme, the, the warrior theme. Super cool. Orc theme, especially. I don't like silly cards. What is he fishing for? Like secrets, maybe? I really showed my knowledge here. I'm like, I wonder why he did that? <laughs> secrets, good. You got good instincts. So probably, I probably don't want to play a spell for a while, right? Ooh. I think I'm just playing Alice Cooper into Overlord Rothak. And for you whippersnappers, Alice Cooper is um, Billie Eilish with a hat. Oh, there we go. And we hit. Good. And now we're scaling a lot like this is a beast. It's only two turns left. So we kind of want to beat him down until he has 8 HP and then we just shoot him in the face with this. Field contact. Don't get baited by your own Samura, because I made a super shameful play today. I forgot that frenzy only happens once. Yep. I had to, um, to like shame concede out of that one. Happens to the best. And me. He's really concerned about the rough deck. I think that this represents more damage. Maybe. It's two attack. Whoa. <laughs> He, like, this price plunder did work. He's gonna take it in the face. So, I mean, he probably doesn't have another... Um, what's it called? Another... Um, when he bounces it. Hmm. How much damage do I have? I have uh, let's say with this, it's uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put him to 13. No, no, no. So I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm putting him to 10. This is kind of setting up an Alexstrasza lethal if something survives. Oh, he's gonna be able to draw cards. Do I clear this? I wanna clear the field contact. Yeah, definitely. We can go for a playmaker here. And go face as much as we can, kind of. He's gonna buff them a lot. So we trade in here. Oh, maybe I should have traded in, in that one. Armor up. Oh, I guess I could have hit with... I should have done the Shield of Honor, actually. I could have done the play that I was thinking about. <laughs> The rope really got me there. But I just need 5 damage on board. Okay. <laughs> no Alexstrasza for us though. It's fine. 